all the graduates to come forward and make a line, if you would. Dear friends, life presents us with various significant milestones that set the stage for the next phase in our earthly journey. Graduation from high school, college, and graduate school is one of those milestones. Today we wish to honor those who are moving through this special time of accomplishment, transition, and change, and to show them that we are a community of faith, stand with them, and support them as fellow believers in Jesus Christ. This time of graduation, celebration, and transition, hear these words from the prophet Jeremiah. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope in the future. Then you will call on me and come and pray to me, and I will listen to you. You will seek me and find me, and you seek me with all your heart. Dear graduates, at this special time in your life, we are eager to show you how delighted we are that you have reached this milestone in your life. As fellow members of this community of faith, we rejoice with you and want you to know of our pride and excitement as you move from this accomplishment to the next phase of your life. We also want you to know that wherever you go and whatever you do, you are going forward with our prayers for God's continued guidance, power, protection, and strength. Let us pray. The Lord Jesus Christ, when you welcome the children, your invitation included each one of us. Your guiding hand has continually been upon these young men and women. You have sustained them. You have shared in their laughter and wiped away their tears. In times of confusion, you have offered direction. In times of sorrow, you have offered hope. In times of doubt, your Holy Spirit has lifted them up. Grant, O Savior, to each of these graduates the knowledge of your continued presence as they go forth in the future. Bless them and keep them. Guide their steps. Hold them in the hollow of your hand. Bless them and keep them now and forever. Amen. So I ask for a paragraph about each of you. Uh, about, and then I went out of town for a funeral and I didn't follow up with anybody. And I got a couple, but I didn't get all of them. So because of my own inability to follow up, you now have to talk. Uh, <laughs> sorry about that. Um, and we have a gift for you. Would the women in Stitches come forward? All the women who meet the women in Stitches who have uh, uh, worked on the prayer Charles, please come forward. Even if you haven't and you're part of the Women in Stitches group, please come forward. Even if you thought about joining the Women in Stitches group. <laughs> uh, the Women in Stitches, our group who meets every other Thursday, have been working on gifts for each of you for some time. And they're going to present them to you. Uh, I'm going to introduce you. This is what I want you to do. I want you to say your name, where you graduated from, and what's next for you. And if you're looking for a job, um, just tell us what field you're looking in. You never know who's hiring. Uh, and then we're going to give you a gift. So, Kelsey Pike, will you start for us? Um, yeah, hi, I'm Kelsey. Um, I graduated from Baylor with a degree in marketing and a minor in French. And I'm on the job hunt right now. Um, I do marketing research and search engine optimization, which is just really fancy work for online marketing. And I like Dallas and Austin, so if you have the <laughs> Um, I'm Cassie Hobbs. I'll be graduating from Hollywood Heritage High School as well. 
out of Washington, and I want to make sure it's my own team. Good for her. I'm Sarah Crofts. I'm a graduate from Trinity High School, and I'm going to be attending McAllister College in the fall in St. Paul, Minnesota, for the huh. study You know, I'm a communications major. <laughs> that means you can become a pastor. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Ali Sakakini. I'll be graduating from grade one high school this year, going to Abilene Christian University and studying nursing. All right, good for her. Nursing. Nursing. And you just had a baby on um, Easter Sunday, right? Yes. Very early morning Easter Sunday. My last day of internship, I didn't make it. <laughs> <laughs> ah, I might let you finish anyway. Good for you. <laughs> Jason was right when he said this may be the smartest youth group he's ever had. Um, I don't know his other youth groups, but I know that this group of people is just incredibly gifted, incredibly talented. A couple weeks ago, I was able to be at the Grapevine Rotary Club as Allie and Rachel received scholarships from the Rotary Club for all their volunteer work and for what things they're going to do. These people are really going to shape the world that we live in in the next 40 years. So uh, we, the future is bright, and we are excited that they are leaving our faith community to go out and to do God's work in the world through whatever profession they choose. Let's give them a round of applause.